Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com Today let's learn how a torque curve works in a car engine. Watch the entire video and learn it. So a torque curve is a graphical representation. We have speed which has a unit RPM in the X axis and we have torque which is a newton meter in the Y axis. So if you see, you can see the RPM is increasing like 1000, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500 etc. in X axis and in the Y axis torque is increasing as 240, 260, 280, 300 etc. So initially at 1000 RPM you can see we have almost 350 Newton meters of torque and it gradually increases and when it reaches like about 1250 at this point of time at 1250 speed or RPM that gives the maximum torque that is 400 Newton meters then as the speed increases or the RPM increases the torque tend to reduce you can see RPM is the speed of revolution revolutions per minute that is called as RPM so this is rotating at that particular speed if I say uh, 50 rotations in a minute that is called revolutions per minute that is 50 is the RPM but torque is the energy of rotation so if this shaft is rotating at a particular energy I'm holding this shaft over here but till the shaft is capable of rotating twisting my hand that shows that it has more torque but if it has less torque I hold on this shaft it will not rotate because we can see that at an optimum RPM we will get the maximum or the optimum torque that is here it is 1250 we have 400 that is the maximum torque we are able to achieve but as the RPM increases it tends to reduce the torque is getting reduced so that is called as the torque curve so for getting the idea more clear i can give you an example like if you're going on the highway you will be on the maximum speed you are going on a fourth gear or on a fifth gear which gives a maximum rpm but at that point of time when you're riding on the fourth gear or the fifth gear the torque will be less but suddenly if you change a car to the down gear like you're riding on a fifth gear and suddenly you're changing towards the second gear what happens the vehicle will some have like a braking effect and the vehicle will become slow and you can feel more torque but the RPM gets to reduced so that's how it happens at higher speed we will be having less torque or less newton meter of torque but when the speed reduces the torque normally gets increased like in first gear and second gear you will have more torque and a lesser RPM but as the RPM increases you need to shift the gears towards the higher gear like 4 or 5 and the torque tends to reduce so this is a basic graph representation of each vehicles and each engines there will be a, a torque and speed graph representation which gives but which particular RPM is the vehicle providing or able to deliver you the maximum torque and from where, which point the torque will tend to reduce as the RPM increases. So this is something related to the engine, the torque, the gears and also the fuel consumption. So you can relate all these things with this torque and speed curve. I believe you got an idea about the torque curve. Please click the subscribe button for getting more video updates from us. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.